Shine bright like a diamond. But I'm pretty sure they mean shine bright like a hollow. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. Before we get into it, quick announcement, the hollow shirts are back by popular demand. After months of you guys asking to bring these back, we asked the hollow gods and they were like, yes, we will bring them back for you. So if you've been wanting one, now is your chance to grab one. I put the link below. And now on to the video. There's something that's been in the nail news media lately, and I think we should investigate. Diamond nails, so they call it. They're going to be your best friend this year. What do you mean? They're not real diamonds? What? You lied to us, news media. Shocking. Apparently, the diamond nail trend originated from Korean nail artist nail underscore Unistella. You can find her on Instagram or in Korea. Excellent video evidence. Apparently, she is also the one responsible for the shattered glass nail trend last year. Interesting. Very interesting. But the diamond nails. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and hollow. I must have it. But how does she do it? What I do know is my nails need this 3D hollow. Me too, Annette Gilbert32. Me too. Let's investigate this secret code. Google shall translate it for us. Diar Manel. That is of no help. Now what does this mean? The charm bursts. Okay then. What about this? I do not need a diamond ring. I do not know. Same. Same. Longer code. I posted how. Profile link. What? What? That's just a bullshit Mary Claire article. You lied to us, Instagram. Now we must do our own research. This looks like a blog. Why the nail not Unistella? What is this? Is this her website? She looks so happy. Mm, and I'm looking, and I'm looking. I, I, I don't understand. There's too much code on here. Where are the diamond nails? All I'm finding is models and runway bullshit. <sighs> After so much research, we have found literally nothing. By the way, did you know I'm a researcher in my day job? I should be fired. In any case, I love a good challenge. And you know what I think diamond nails look like? This exact silver holographic nail foil. Wow, what a fucking mystery. Let's begin. I'm starting out by adding a peel off base coat because there will be peel porn at the end of this video. I promise. I know this seems quite opposite, but the first thing we're doing is adding a glossy gel top coat. That's right, gel top coat. Because I don't think this diamond look would work good enough with regular polish because regular polish ruins foil and it also doesn't really build up in the same way that gel polish does. Then you cure your gel polish in the purple alien spaceship lamp. Now I'm applying some foil glue. This is some kind of sticky glue that's specifically designed for use with nail foils. You can get that shit on Amazon. I put some links below. It's not even that sticky of a glue. It's just sticky enough to lift up the foil. It takes about a minute or so to dry and when it dries it goes from a bluish tint to completely clear. You gotta wait for the glue to turn clear because that means it's no longer wet but just tacky. And tacky is what you want for the foil to stick to. Now that we're in the clear, <laughs> Cut up some pretty easy to find basic silver holographic nail art foil you can get uh, lots of places online. Now don't make the same mistake I made a long time ago when I first did this. You gotta place the ugly side down on the nail and the pretty side is facing up. Press down on the foil with enough pressure that it starts to stick to the nail. But, oh wait a second, what's on my other hand? It's a beautiful purple jelly hollow. Oh, yes, I've worn this before, but I'm still wearing it because it's beautiful. Keep pressing down the hollow foil because the point is to get it to stick to your whole nail. You'll see that the foil may even start to lift up. And that's a good thing because it means that the pattern has successfully transferred onto your nail. Peel it up gently. Uh, mine struggled a little because I am wearing a peel off face coat. But BAM! That's the first step of f***ing diamond nails. But why do they call it diamond nails when they are so obviously hollow nails? <sighs> I feel like PewDiePie, I hate the media. Build up the effect to make it a bit more 3D and to fill in the spaces where the foil didn't transfer, I'm now applying another glossy gel taco. Be right back, gotta bake it for a minute. Add another thin layer of the foil glue. Wow, look at how much that looks like a unicorn skin. 
pretty. That's actually a nice effect in and of itself. Wow, glue, please don't dry. You look cool like that. About one minute later, it's the acceptable amount of dry and tacky. And so we're gonna add another layer of the hollow foil. It has to be a new layer. It can't be the same one you used last time because once you use it, it lifts up the hollow. But don't worry about it. Most of these foils are cheap as shit. Make sure the second time around, you're focusing more on the sides of your nails and the tips because that's probably where the foil is least likely to stick, especially if your nails are really curved like mine. So I struggle a lot with that. We all know this. Ooh, pretty. Oh, fuck. Of course, I fucked up the tip. You can try and save it by putting some extra foil on your blank spots, but it doesn't always work. In any case, when you are happy, you complete the look by adding a glossy gel taco. Again, bake, bake, bake like a cake. Hey, did you guys see my cake video? I'm good, I need dinner. And I've decided to add a second final gel glossy taco to really bring out the 3D effect. You know what I mean? It gives it like a more solid bubble effect around the foil, projecting it and science or or something. <gasps> Look at all of my holographic foil scraps. You are not scraps to me. I will keep you forever and cherish you. And well, would you look at that. Fucking diamond nails on my nails. I honestly don't think it's any more complicated than just slapping on some holographic foil on your nails. I anticipate that a lot of you are gonna ask if you could do this with regular polish. And I would say that yes, you could do it with regular polish, but you're probably not gonna get the same building up kind of 3D effect of adding multiple layers of glossy gel taco. And the other challenge is that regular quick dry top coat tends to crackle these kinds of foils. It kind of dulls them and makes them less shiny and less hollow. And the hollow deserves to be treated with the utmost respect. I agree with most of you though that gel nails is kind of complicated and you're like, what the fuck? Lamps, no. But I found that it's actually not that bad to just use gel top coats. You can get at home UV gel lamps pretty cheap now on Amazon. And if all you're using it for is the taco like I do sometimes, then it's not so bad. I assure you it's not so bad. But I would like to know that I'm not the only one who thinks I cracked the code on how to do diamond nails. Let me know down below in the comments if you think I've nailed it. Or if you think I'm just wrong and there's a whole other way to do them, let me know in the comments. You know what I realized though about quote unquote to diamond nails. Not only is there this kind of shattered cut up diamond pattern, there's dozens of all sorts of kinds of patterns of hollow foil and you could have a whole lot of hollow fun with those possibilities. Oh shit and guess what you could also do colored diamond nails with different colors of the very same hollow foil. Uh, I have just uncovered the secrets of life you are welcome. And now it wouldn't be a true simply nailogical video conclusion without some peel porn. Ooh. And you guys know how satisfying it is to peel off something that has gel on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, the way the gel solidifies into a turtle shell and then pops right off. Oh, gets me every time. Beautiful, beautiful new collection to add to my peely bag. What do you know? The underside looks like antiques. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, if you've wanted a hollow, it's me or hollow sexual, real hollow foil t-shirt, you can grab them now for a limited time down below at the link in the video description box. Thank you guys so much for showing so much love and support to these shirts. Like you guys are wild hollow sexual savages. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.